Hi, it's me, Teacher Jean. In this lesson, you will learn about illustrating rational algebraic expressions. Polynomial. A polynomial is an algebraic expression that represents a sum of one or more terms containing whole number exponents on the variables. For an expression to be a polynomial term, first, it must contain no square roots of variables. Second, no negative exponents on the variables. Third, no fractional exponents on the variables. Fourth, variables cannot be an exponent. And for the last, no variables in the denominator of any fractions. Now, for you to understand, let's have the following examples. Tell whether each expression is a polynomial or not. First, 5 plus y. This expression is a polynomial. Second, 9x squared plus 6x minus 1. This is also a polynomial. Third, 2x minus 1 over y. Since one of our restrictions is there must be no variable in the denominator, therefore, this expression is not a polynomial. Fourth, 2 over 5, x squared minus x plus 7. The denominator is not a variable, therefore, this expression is a polynomial. For number 5, we have 5x minus 2 over 3y cubed. So one of the restrictions, there must be no variable in the denominator. So this expression is not a polynomial. For number 6, square root of m minus 7n, there must be no square roots of variables. Therefore, this expression is not a polynomial. For number 7, we have square root of 8x minus 3x squared. Now, as you noticed, square root of 8, 8 is not a variable. So, this expression is a polynomial. For number 8, we have 4a to the 1 third power plus 5a squared minus 9. Now, here, there must be no fractional exponent on the variable. So, this expression is not a polynomial. For number 9, we have c squared over 3. And 3 is not a variable. It's an integer. Therefore, this expression is a polynomial. For the last, we have y to the negative 3 plus 6y squared minus 1. There must be no negative exponent on the variable. Therefore, this expression is not a polynomial. Rational algebraic expression is a ratio of two polynomials provided that the denominator is not equal to zero. It is written in the form A over B, where B is not equal to zero. The line there is what we call the fraction bar that denotes division. A is a polynomial and B is also a polynomial. So we have the ratio of two polynomials. When B is equal to zero, the expression is considered undefined. Now, let's classify whether each expression is a rational or not. First, we have m plus 2 all over square root of 2. m plus 2 is a polynomial. Square root of 2 is also a polynomial. So, this one is considered a rational algebraic expression or RAE. For number 2, we have c to the 4th over cube root of a. c to the 4th is a polynomial. Cube root of a is not a polynomial. There must be no square root of variable. So, this expression is not a rational algebraic expression. For number 3, we have 5x squared minus 8x plus 2 all over 6x to the negative 4 plus 3. 5x squared minus 8x plus 2 is a polynomial. 6x to the negative 4 plus 3 is not a polynomial. There must be no negative exponent on the variable. So that is not a rational algebraic expression. For number 4, we have y plus 2 all over y minus 2. y plus 2 is a polynomial. y minus 2 is also a polynomial. So this expression is considered a rational algebraic expression. Rational algebraic expression. Since rational expression indicate division, the denominator of a rational expression must not be equal to zero. When the denominator is zero, the expression is undefined. Finding values that make a rational expression undefined. First, we're going to set the denominator to zero. Second, solve the equation. Take note, we do not consider the numerator because a rational expression is undefined only if its denominator is zero. 
Now, for you to understand, let's have the following examples. Find the values of x for which each rational expression is undefined. For number 1, we have 3x all over x plus 2. So first, we're going to equate the denominator to 0. So we have x plus 2 is equal to 0. Using the addition property of equality, we're going to add both sides. The additive inverse of positive 2, we have negative 2. Then 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. So the value of x is equal to negative 2. So we have the set of all x's such that x is a real number and x is not equal to negative 2. The domain of the variable x, therefore, is any real number except x is equal to negative 2. Now to check, we have 3x all over x plus 2. We're going to substitute or replace the value of x, which is negative 2. So 3 times the value of x negative 2 all over negative 2 plus 2. Then simplify, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, negative 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. So negative 6 divided by 0 is undefined. For number 2, we have 5x all over 2x minus 8. First, we're going to equate the denominator to 0. So we have 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. Then using addition property of equality, we're going to add both sides. The additive inverse of negative 8, we have positive 8. So negative 8 plus 8 is equal to 0. So we have the remaining 2x is equal to 8. Then divide both sides by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 1 times x is equal to x. And 8 divided by 2, we have 4. So the value of x is equal to 4. So we have the set of all x's such that x is a real number and x is not equal to 4. The domain of the variable x, therefore, is any real number except x is equal to 4. Now to check, given 5x all over 2x minus 8, we're going to substitute or replace the value of x which is 4. So 5 times the value of x 4 all over 2 times the value of x 4 minus 8. Then perform the indicated operation, 5 times 4, we have 20, all over, we have 2 times 4, we have 8 minus 8. Then we have 20 over 8 minus 8 is equal to 0. So 20 divided by 0 is undefined. For number 3, we have x squared plus 1 all over x squared minus 2x minus 3. So first, we're going to equate the denominator to 0. So we have x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. So as you observe, that is a trinomial. So we're going to factor the given trinomial. So the factor of x squared is x times x. And the factor of negative 3 is negative 3 times 1. If you're going to add, the result is negative 2, which is the coefficient of the middle term. Then we're going to equate both factors to 0. So we have x minus 3 is equal to 0 and x plus 1 is equal to 0. Then we're going to add both sides. The additive inverse of negative 3 is positive 3. So the value of x is positive 3. Then we're going to add both sides. The additive inverse of positive 1 is negative 1. So we have the value of x is negative 1. Hence, the expression is undefined for x is equal to 3 and x is equal to negative 1. Now to check... Given x squared plus 1 all over x squared minus 2x minus 3, we're going to substitute or replace the value of x which is 3. So we have 3 squared plus 1 all over 3 squared minus 2 times 3 minus 3. So 3 squared is equal to 3 times 3, we have 9 plus 1. All over, we have 3 squared is equal to 9. Then negative 2 times 3, we have negative 6 minus 3. And that is equal to 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. 9 minus 6 is 3. Minus 3 is equal to 0. So 10 divided by 0 is considered undefined. Now when x is equal to negative 1, we're going to substitute or replace the value of x is negative 1. So we have the quantity negative 1 squared plus 1 all over the quantity of negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1 minus 3. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1 plus 1. All over the quantity of negative 1 squared is equal to 1. Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2 minus 3. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. 1 plus 2 is 3 minus 3 is equal to to zero. So 2 divided by 0 is undefined. For number 4, we have x plus 3 all over x squared minus 1. First, we're going to equate the denominator to 0. 
So we have x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. And that is considered the difference of two squares. And the factors are the quantity x plus 1 times the quantity of x minus 1 is equal to 0. Then we're going to equate both factors to 0. So we have x plus 1 is equal to 0 and x minus 1 is equal to 0. Then we're going to add both sides. The additive inverse of positive 1 is negative 1. So the value of x is equal to negative 1. Then we're going to add both sides. The additive inverse of negative 1 is positive 1. So the value of x is positive 1. Hence, the expression is undefined for x is equal to negative 1 and x is positive 1. Now to check. Given x plus 3 all over x squared minus 1, we're going to substitute the value of x is negative 1. So we have negative 1 plus 3 all over the quantity negative 1 squared minus 1. So negative 1 plus 3, that is positive 2, all over negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1 minus 1. Then we have 2 over 1 minus 1 is 0, and 2 divided by 0 is undefined. Next, when x is equal to 1, we're going to substitute or replace the value of x, which is 1, plus 3, all over 1 squared minus 1. So 1 plus 3, we have 4, over 1 squared is equal to 1 minus 1. And that is equal to 4 over 1 minus 1 is 0. So 4 divided by 0 is undefined. Now it's your turn to eat yourself. Find the value of x for which each rational expression is undefined. Don't forget to comment down below your answers. Happy learning! Thanks for watching. Please like and share. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel and click the bell button so that you will be notified whenever I'm going to upload a new one. Maraming salamat!